short of the uh, starting motor. Um, I may have. Anyway, I turned it back to off, and now I cannot turn the uh, motor. See, there's no uh, sound of the motor, so I probably shorted the, the starter. Uh oh. Or the fuses. The fuse is okay. I may uh, short it off something. I do not know. So I'm gonna have to check. <laughs> when I was putting. Tighten this uh, screw here. Oh my goodness! And this is the solenoid. You see, the solenoid top is uh, tightened uh, over here, and the bottom is right here, but it's not tightened. Oh my goodness! I don't know how I was able to start the the uh, the motor. Anyway, I'm gonna tighten this down. Okay, you can kind of see this thing here is not tightened. That's why the starting solenoid got uh, some problem, you know. So I'm gonna unscrew this and then tighten this. Uh So let me move this to the front. And that should be able to give us a better connection. My goodness, there we go. Now, this ground is not going to shake. I'm going to tighten it further. Because the solenoid was not engaged. Now this is better. See this? This is no longer... Okay, I'm going to tighten it further. There you go, until this is no longer moving. Yep, almost there. Just gonna tighten this further down. Here we go. So now this solenoid is totally engaged. Here we go. So this is the cowboy. I didn't really connect this to the ground very well, and that's why the solenoid starting motor was not responsible. So, so this is the starting motor and this thing here um, behind this red power line is the solenoid. So this is the solenoid. It's uh, fixed permanently on the engine block uh, as well as what's down here. And there's a uh, black wire over here into this one which is the ground as well so but this was not grounding to the engine block so the solenoid um, was shaked loose and that's why um, I, I got no uh, click now it